And listen, this next story is very interesting. In a country whose education system often looks upon academics as one of the only routes to success in life, it is refreshing to see many Kenyans now backing stereotypical trends and developing their talent as a career. But supporting dreams that don't fit in a classroom isn't something that you will see in many schools. Not so in Nakuru. The Kenya Sports and Talent Schools curriculum is almost entirely non-academic and its student body come from backgrounds where survival comes before education. Kam Chemenza has the details. They are going to get all the fruit between the ears. Look at that aleko. They won't look. School is in session and rather than choke against Blackboard, these sounds of learning are what the students of the Kenya Sport and Talent School in Nakuru are used to. But color, music and art hide many of these students a difficult past. Mwezi yangu ilikuwa railways. Nilikuja huko kwanza I had to be rehabilitated kwa sababu madawa zilikuwa zimeanza kuni take over. Nilikuwa street child before I came here. Tulikuwa tunaishi pale Gilanis. Hapo ndo nimelelewa na wenzangu. For Lucy Kariuki and her brother David, this place has been their solace. I had a good grade, I had a B, but due to financial instability, I couldn't go to uni. Actually, I couldn't go to the I felt so useless, I felt so... I couldn't go to the 14-year-old Maurice Mutuginjeru lived on the streets of Nairobi for five years. He and his three friends were street performers. I was in Tribeca, Trantolia, Ukosimas, to go to the club, to go to the club, to go to dance. Yani mutu, yani mgefresh wa sisi na tuzushia pesa yani ya kukura. Mutumia gam, biere, msi, bangi, zote ni mutumia. Hata ni mimi ni megongwa na gari ni kama ni mekimbizo na kanjo huko. They are just but some out of the 70 students here. The non-academic school targets and nurtures talent, especially in youth from poor backgrounds. They are first auditioned before they are absorbed. Lawrence Karani, the school CEO, set his sights on the underprivileged. He says for good reason. So there's a lot of waste within the youth and of course when now the waste is there, they definitely go to drugs, to alcohol and many other vices. After that we, we are looking also for for market because we do not intend to stay with 